Hey, what's up, guys? It's Rogue Company Update Day. We're just going to go over the patch notes real quick. This is an unscheduled video. Um, tune in for the premiere of part four of the No Primary Challenge. But until then, let's do this. Um, as you see here, there was an update today. These are the patch notes. It's called Retail Therapy. Um, there's a store. You can buy things. I bought a, uh, a Scorch skin today, and I bought a new emote. Um, so let's go over these patch notes and um, comment if you have any questions and I will go over these patch notes once again on tomorrow's stream which will be Thursday September 3rd if you have any questions I can answer them live but as of right now let's go over these um, patch notes uh, back by popular demand dead zone adjustments for controller can now be made in the setting manual good news for you controller people um, Favelas has returned as an available map. That's good. Uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One keyboard and mouse has been disabled for now until we can provide a fully functional keyboard and mouse feature. That's good. Uh, get it right. Take it away until it's done right. I agree with this. Players can now acknowledge pings. That's a good thing. So you say, go here. There's an enemy here, blah, blah, blah. Your teammates can acknowledge it. Uh, players can now ping enemy deployables and it will appear on the map. I like it um, Equipping a camo or emote will now select an option to equip to all rogues interesting. I like it. Uh, that's a little um, Quality of life update for you right there uh, Your weapon crosshair will now change to friendly color when placed over a teammate interesting doesn't really change a whole lot But it's good an auto pickup feature wait an auto pickup feature has been added as an option. This is currently defaulted to off, but can be changed to gameplay settings. Okay, so you can automatically pick things up. Like I said, the store. Uh, get ready. You can get a new look. Uh, you can get wingsuit, weapon skins, or emotes. New items will become each. Well, new items will become available each week. So be sure to stop by frequently. Beautiful. You love to see that. A couple new skins here. I don't know who that is. Whether that's, is that Ronin? I'm not even sure. Does it say who it is? It does not. But there's a, um, a new Lancer skin here. It's pretty decent. Um, okay, so here we go. Surrender. There are times when the battle is a little one-sided, whether it be your team is having a bad game or someone disconnected. With the retail therapy update, your team will now be able to have the option to surrender in lieu of finishing your current match. All right, fair enough. In order to call for a surrender, you must be a player must be disconnected for three minutes um, or ten minutes total into a match. Fair. To initiate a vote, players opens the menu and selects surrender. Team members will have thirty seconds to vote. Uh, with no vote considered a no, if vote fails, team must wait two minutes before requesting another surrender vote. All right, good enough. Uh, bleed out has been increased from 13 to 16 seconds, so um, Saint will have a, more of a chance to use his drone. You'll have more of a chance to crawl into cover, get res, this and that. Very good. Uh, demolition time to explode has been reduced from 55 to 50 seconds. Interesting. Uh, demolition bomb has projectile collision. No more hiding explosive stake inside the bomb. Bad news for you, Ronin mains. Good news for the rest of us. Extraction. Uh, mode will be available until further notice. Note this update has been temporarily disabled to a bug fix. All right, fair enough. Strikeout. Adjusted spawn points on canals. Okay. Players will no longer swap sides on round five. All right. Okay, fair enough. Okay, rogues. Here we go. Trench. Barbed wire distance increased by 15%. He needed that. Agreed with that. Barbed wire no longer impairs your team. Very good. Yes, I've been calling for that one. And we'll have a blue indicated area to indicate that it is friendly. Very good. I uh, Yes, these trench these trench buffs I, I approve of. All right, general uh, weapons. When ADS using a scoped, uh, the edges of the screen will now be slightly blurred. The effect may be turned off in the display settings. 
All right, that's that's hit or miss here for you, uh, Phantom Mains. Uh, devotion fixed an issue where recoil is being applied over a longer duration than intended. That's good. MXR fixed an issue where the level three upgrade of the MXR was not receiving recoil reduction. Very good. I like that. D3DI fixed an issue where the level one and level three upgrades for the D3DI had a different kickback recovery delays. I'm not sure what that one means, but good. And then we got various uh, bug fixes here. Fixed an issue holding the tab key to open the scoreboard would prevent it from opening again. I didn't come across that one, but okay. Um, opening the scoreboard pre prevents the user from walking forward and landing or opening scoreboard for a few seconds at the start of the round. Uh, Ronin Ballistic Knife should no longer deal double damage upon proximity detonation. I didn't know that was happening, but okay, good. Adjusted shock so he can no longer fire his weapon before stim pack ability finishes. That's good. That's good. He shouldn't be able to do that. Um, fixed an issue where down players could not use ping. I didn't come across that, but okay. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I did a couple times. All right, good. Rogue ability should now recharge in shooting range after 20 seconds. All right. Uh, reduce the hitbox size of a sticky sensor to an appropriate size of the gadget. Fair enough. Dima no longer visible in two places at once in the tutorial. Okay, good. Fixed a significant shortcut in the tutorial. Good. Uh, the bomb and detonation can now be placed on top of objects in the bomb site. All right. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, fixed an area near the al aqua Okay. Fixed an area near the aquarium in Skyfell. Players weren't meant to access. All right, good. Gadgets can no longer get stuck in the favela's garage walls. Fair enough. Uh, fixed an area high castle near site B to prevent players from accessing it. All right. Players can no longer get stuck in or hide in cliffs on high get on high castle. Okay. Fix various map ex exploitable areas on canals. Icarus, Factory, and Favelas, and a little bit of uh, map fixes there. Fixed a bug allowing players to make melee attacks significantly faster than they should by switching weapons. Good. Players should no longer get stuck in the social menu and be unable to close it. That's a good thing. Players will no longer uh, keep additional rounds gained from purchasing shredder rounds if they use buyback. All right, fair enough. Fixed an issue where players could spam quick melee and make attacks much faster than intended. This is good. Guys, these are excellent, excellent patch notes. Um, I'm happy that they updated. Um, guys, if you're going to purchase anything from the Rogue Store, make sure to use a creator code. I currently don't have one, but I will apply for one as soon as I am eligible. You need 1,000 followers on any big social media platform. So the moment I hit 1,000 followers on Twitch is when I will apply for a creator code. Uh, make sure to like this video, smash subscribe if you're new. And um, I do have a YouTube premiere happening tomorrow morning, followed by a live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Bjorn Rock. Um, I appreciate you. I love you all. Um, Rockstar community, let's keep up the hype. Smash like, hit subscribe, blah, 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 this and that. And every other thing, I love you very much. This is for you and your mother. I love you guys. Um, this video was recorded in one take. So if there were stumbling over my words, just ignore it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, actually. Okay? Peace.